Good evening, gentlemen, ladies. Uh, we uh, just for starters, uh, we address uh, the issue uh, regarding Gary on last night, and both are from the Raiders in and himself. Let's uh, let's just talk football with Gary on. All right. Thanks. Okay, you guys, we have mics on either side. Raise your hand, please. How's it going, Gary? On um, KyleRaiders.com. Um, so, you were a captain at Ohio State. Can you talk about your leadership ability a little bit and what you're going to be able to contribute in the locker room? Oh uh, yeah, I was a captain uh, this past year and uh, the leader of the secondary, and uh, I felt like I earned that right um, through my experience and just how I handled myself on and off the field. Um, a lot of the young guys looked up to me. And they always came to me for questions, and that's how it was when I came in. A lot of the older people like Duran and Roby, they showed me how to be a leader in the secondary room, what to do on and off the field, in the weight room, and practice habits, games, just leading by action mostly. Hi, Eric Gary, uh, Levi Damien from SB Nation. I noticed uh, you had hooked up with, uh, you had a few words with uh, Sean Smith on Twitter the other the other day. Have you connected with him much other than that? And uh, can you tell us about that and what it's like to be teaming up with him now? Uh, I mean, it's an honor to be a teammate of his and just to be a part of Raider Nation. And uh, I haven't talked to him before that previously, but I've just seen somebody had told me that he uh, shouted me out. So I wanted to get back to him and show my appreciation. Gary and Chris Matthews with the KLAS in Las Vegas. I got to ask you, it's such a unique situation that you get drafted here by the Oakland Raiders. Three years from now, they're moving to Las Vegas. What are your thoughts on that whole thing? Share a few of your thoughts. Uh, I mean, I just found out that like last week, I think. But uh, I'm just worried about being in Oakland right now. That's where we are. I'm ready to compete for the Oakland Raiders right now. Kind of unique, though, you, that situation? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, wherever we go, I'm going to be a Raider. So that's all I'm focused on. You fly commercial, you said you couldn't keep still flying out here. Yeah. <laughs> what is that like? I mean, it just felt unreal. Like, this opportunity that I've been waiting for my whole life, and now it's here. So, What does it mean to be a member of this iconic brand, the Raiders? Just that, you know, the, the history they have, the tradition they have, probably one of the most iconic franchises in the league. What does that mean to you? Like I said, it's, uh, it's an honor to come from somewhere like Ohio State to a, a program like this. It's like a more rich program in Ohio State, so like being in uh, black and silver, like I see all the fans, like they show me so much love already, and I haven't even been here yet, so it's just an honor to be here. Gary, and I think you were, um, when you went to high school at uh, at Washington, that you, from what I understand, you first were there kind of as a basketball player first. Yeah. Didn't play football until your sophomore year. When did it start to kick in for you that, that oh, maybe I can be in a major college player or an NFL player? What was that process like? Yeah, uh, I mean, Madison is a football town. Yeah. So it's kind of like a mini Ohio State, all the fans. And, uh, like, the pressure is, like, a high expectation there. And uh, I seen people who were going to college for football, and I just felt like I could explore my opportunities by playing multiple sports. And football just gave me the opportunity, and I took it and stuck with it. Just take, take us through what it's been like, what your your life has been like since last night, since the pick between then and now. Uh, I mean, it was a short turnaround, but I know last night uh, when I got that call, like I didn't even, I couldn't even hear the phone call because my family just like tackled me as soon as I put my phone in my ear. And uh, like I said, I've just been shaking ever since. Like it's just unreal. Like if it's a uh, the most proud I've ever been of myself in my life because this is like a once in a lifetime opportunity. And I'm just thankful to have it. Uh, Reggie, don't punch me, but what have you learned in the last week about everything? Uh, you said off the field you learned stuff, right? Yeah, it's uh, to keep faith, always have a tight support system and just trust in yourself and never lose faith. Thanks. 
you were part of a uh, secondary that had three first round picks, obviously working with the, the, those NFL caliber players. What do you think that that taught you working with that group? And do you think that it may have helped you to get ready for the next level? Yeah, definitely. Uh, at Ohio State, we have a high standard, high expectation to be the best. And uh, I feel like those guys push me every day because those guys are NFL caliber players as well. And they made me a better NFL caliber player. And just going out there and competing every day, like practices, some of our practices were harder than games. And I feel like that's what prepared us to be those NFL caliber players. Gary, on your final game of your college career, the Fiesta Bowl against Clemson, you drafted into the AFC West, Mike Williams as well. So you'll be seeing him twice a year. What was that battle like for you in that game, just that matchup, and maybe just moving forward of just seeing him a couple times a year for the foreseeable future? Yeah, I knew he was a great receiver, uh, watching film on him all year. And uh, I knew he was like uh, projected high. And uh, that battle in the game, it was a real good battle. Uh, and I feel like he's probably one of the best receivers I went against all year last year. Uh, props to him. But I'm always going to compete against him, and I look forward to seeing him again. Gary, I read where you played in the, uh, I believe it was a freshman in the, in the championship game against Michigan State and had a couple rough plays, and Eli Apple came back in. And that since then you talk, talked to younger players about that experience, about what it meant to, you know, to bounce back. And what did that do for you? Uh, I feel like it changed my whole career around because uh, I kind of lost self-confidence and I feel like my coaches and my teammates were really the ones who helped me in that situation because no one like batted an eye, no one talked bad about me like during the game while it was happening. They were all cheering me on and I felt like they had that much confidence in me. I had to have that self-confidence myself and I realized that after that game and that's what turned my career around. Do you think uh, now that you're a Raider that Charles Woodson will forgive the fact that you decommitted Michigan to go to Ohio State? Hopefully. <laughs>